Let's see how this incremental strategy works in our context with triangles. Um, suppose that we have already computed concepts for the subcontext formed by the first three triangles, T1, T2, and T3. So here they are. There are six formal concepts. Now let's add the fourth uh, object, T4. So the object intent of T4 is ABC. Um, we should go through all concepts one by one and uh, process them as our algorithm suggests. So let's start with the first one, which is T1, T2, T3, empty set. Well, the first thing we check is whether the intent of this old concept is a subset of our G prime, and it is. Empty set is a, a subset of ABC. So we form the new concept simply by adding the object T4, the new object, to the extent of this old concept. And the new concept is then um, T1, T2, T3, T4, empty set as the intent. The next concept is T1, T2, B. And again, B is a subset of ABC, so here we have the concept T1, T2, T4, B. Next, uh, we have T3, C, and again C is a subset of ABC, so in the updated con context we have the con we have the concept T three T four with intent C. Next next is this one. The extent is T one and the intent is B D. Well now, BD is not a subset of ABC. So we simply copy this concept to the set of new concepts. In the updated context, T1 is still the only object that has all attributes from BD. Then we form the intersection of BD and ABC. The intersection is B. So, potentially, we have a new concept with the intent B. But we add this new concept only if T1BD is uh, the generator of this new concept. And for it to be the generator, its extent must be different from the extent of this new concept by only one object, this one. T4, the one that we add. So the extent of this formal, context, formal concept, of the new formal concept, is going to include T1, it's going to include T4, and now let's check if there are any other objects among the first three objects that have attribute B. And yes, it turns out that T2 has attribute B, but then T1BD is not the generator of this formal concept. And so we don't include it on the list here. And we're right to do so because we actually already have uh, the concept with the intent B and the extent T1, T2, T4. So we don't need to include it the second time. Okay, so the next concept is uh, uh, T two B E.
And again, B is not a subset of ABC, so we simply uh, copy this concept to the new list. And we compute the intersection of B and ABC. The intersection is again B. And the extent must, the extent of this concept, of this new, potentially new concept, uh, must contain uh, T2. It must contain the new object T4. And let's check if it contains anything else. Yes, it contains T1. And for this reason, this is not a generator of this new concept, so we don't include it. Uh, so the last concept we have to consider is this one with the empty extent and all attributes in the intent A, B, C, D, E and of course A, B, C, D is not a subset of A, B, C so we copy uh, this concept to the new list And we compute the intersection of ABCD and the ABC. The intersection is ABC. So potentially we have a concept with the intent ABC. Um, its extent must contain um, the new object, T4. And let's check if there's anything else. So T1 doesn't have A, so it shouldn't go here. T2 doesn't have A, T3 doesn't have A, so T4 is the only object um, in the extent of this concept, ABC. And thus, this concept with the empty extent is the generator of this concept. So we include it in our list. And uh, so we finish the processing of the fourth object. Uh, how many concepts do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have one additional concept, T4, A, B, C. Now, if we want, we can proceed with the next object, T5. Uh, whose intent is D. And now we should go through all these formal concepts, starting with whatever, let's say with this one. Uh, so let's make a few steps. So we take this concept T1, T2, T3, T4, empty intent, and we see that empty is the empty set is a subset of D. So uh, we copy this concept, but we add T5 to its extent. T1, T2, T3, T4, T5. empty. And then the next concept is uh, T1, T2, T4 with the intent B. And here B is not a subset of D. So we simply copy this concept without any changes. T1, T2, T4. B. Then we compute the intersection of B and D. The intersection is empty. And uh, the extent of this potentially new concept must contain all attributes from the extent of this concept. So T1, T2, T4, and the new object, T5. And if it contains anything else, then this is not the generator of this concept. So let's check if it contains uh, T3. Yes, it contains T3 because empty set is a subset of the object intent of T3. And for this reason, we don't need this concept here because we already have it. We have already generated it and so on. And we can proceed like this by adding one object at a time. So incremental algorithms can also be used to compute the entire concept lattice by adding uh, one object at a time. Or if you already have a set of concepts for a subcontext, you can easily add new objects 
without having to uh, do all the work from scratch.